Okay, so here we go. Question number 10. And we've got a diagram here, which is lovely, coordinate axes, and we've got two shapes, P and Q. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle Q. Well, transformation can come in four types. Reflections, that means flipping over, but that's the maths word we need to know. Rotation, which is the maths word for turning. Uh, translation, which is the maths word for moving. And enlarging, which is actually the maths term for getting bigger or smaller. So, let's look, so describe the single transformation. Well, let's look at it. It's not been turned, so we know for sure that it's not that one. Um, it's not been reflected because you can see this slope inside is at the same angle as this slope inside. And this one's a bit um, of a different gradient and it's the same as this gradient here. So it's not been reflected and it's definitely, you can see it's not been enlarged. So it's been translated. Okay, it's a translation. And one of the things we need to remember about translations, really important point, is that we need to give it in vector format. So we need to give it as a vector where the horizontal component is uh, written above the vertical component. There's no fraction line between it. It's kind of like coordinates but stacked on top of each other. So let's have a look at this. And my bit, I think the best way to do it, oh, I really wanted a blue pen. Let's try again. So if I get from this corner to this corner, I have to move one, two, three, four, five, six. Six along and then I've got to move one down. Let's check this corner and it's because nothing else has changed, it's not rotated or reflected or enlarged or anything, it should be exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, six along and one down. So describe fully the single transformation. You can see this is worth two marks. So for one of the marks, it's a you've got to mention the maths word and in this case you've got to mention translation. That's worth one of the marks. And then, uh, then you've got to give the vector. So in this case, well, it's moved along six to the right in the positive direction. It's moved one down. So we're going to write that as minus one. And it's kind of obvious, really, that it would be go six. If it was six to the left, it would be minus six, and one up would be plus one. And that's how we write. So we write get two marks. We get one mark for the vector format and we get one mark for correctly using the maths word translation. Now, I think that's a relatively straightforward uh, question, and if you get that in the exam, as long as you're writing the correct terms down in the correct way, there's no reason why you're not going to get full marks on those questions.